In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to prevent your makeup from transferring using only drugstore products. So in this step-by-step -step video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to achieve long-lasting, transfer-proof makeup. But we're gonna add a little twist. We're gonna make this affordable. So all the products I'll be using today are affordable makeup products that you can get from your local drugstore. I'll link all the products in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I used to have those days where my makeup would transfer everywhere, like my clothes, especially my collars and sometimes to other people so after years of trying out products and just trying to figure out how to prevent it from transferring I've finally found a makeup routine so all these products are affordable and I'm gonna reveal exactly how to use them in six simple steps the first step is using a good primer now the question is what is a good primer when you're trying to prevent your makeup from transferring you want a primer that helps to grip the makeup the reason why that's important is because when your makeup is being gripped it stays on your skin it's kind of like a glue for your makeup so that it doesn't move from your skin to another place a great option is this power grip primer by elf cosmetics it works really well to make sure that your makeup does not transfer the reason why I also really love this primer is that it's really hydrating so it makes sure that your skin is quenched and it also has this really nice gripping effect as you can see it's very sticky so it makes sure that your makeup is gripped onto your skin and once it grips that makeup that makeup does not move another reason I really love this primer is that it has niacinamide and that is going to help control the oils on your skin sometimes when your skin overproduces oils it makes your makeup not last long so niacinamide helps to prevent oil production on your skin the next step is a foundation. Now, you don't want to use any foundation. It's very important for you to use a foundation that has long wearing claims. So that can be like up to 16 hours or up to 24 hours. It can also be claims like transfer proof, waterproof. It can be transfer resistant. Any claims that make it a long wearing foundation. The one that I've been using for years and I still love this foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This foundation claims to be a 24 hour wear foundation. So even if it doesn't last 24 hours, we know that it's going to last a really long time. Now when trying to prevent my makeup from transferring, I only focus the foundation at the perimeter of my face. This allows me to use the least amount of foundation because sometimes when you apply way too much makeup, it does tend to transfer more. So to avoid that, you want to limit how much foundation you're applying, especially when you're going in with products like concealer, contour, and powder. And as you can see, the foundation is more of a medium coverage foundation. If you feel like you need more, I would only focus on the areas where you need more coverage because maybe you have darkness and you just feel like you want a little bit more coverage. And this will just allow you to use way less foundation, which is going to contribute into helping the makeup not transfer. The next step is setting powder. But before we get into setting powder, you want to make sure that you've applied all your cream products such as blush, contour, and concealer. And then you want to set all that in place. To do that, you want to find a really good setting spray so the one that I love is Milani make it last I've been using this for so many years it's been a go-to drugstore setting spray this type of setting spray is supposed to make your makeup last so this wouldn't be a setting spray that I would advise you to use before applying your makeup product I would advise you using this after you've applied your makeup product so because I've applied all my cream products I want to set that in place before going in with setting powder so doing this before going in with powder is gonna make sure that that layer of makeup is set in place before you add powder this is a technique that I found to work so well especially if you're looking for a long wearing makeup look it just makes sure that you're setting each layer of makeup to make sure that it stays put and now you should be ready to set your concealer with setting powder when it comes to setting powder you want to use a powder that is lightweight more of a translucent powder than a powder that has so much pigment so when it comes to selecting the powder you want to choose one that's finely milled so one that is very natural looking I love translucent powders and a drugstore one that I've always been raving about on this channel is the wet n wild photo focus powder the shade that I normally use is banana but they also have a translucent shade so a translucent shade is one that doesn't add color to your skin but I also find this shade banana also works perfectly it doesn't add so much pigment and this can also help prevent your makeup from transferring so to apply the powder I always like to swirl it at the back of my hand 
first to make sure that you're getting an even application. You wanna do this with all your powders. Then you wanna go ahead and set your concealer. Now what also makes this powder really special is that it has oil absorbing properties. So it's gonna help absorb all those excess oils from the complexion products such as like the foundation, concealer, contour, blush. Those products sometimes can tend to have oils that when you put on your skin it can make it look oily so it helps to absorb that. And it also helps to absorb the oils on your skin throughout the day. Think of this powder as a shield between your makeup and any oils on your skin that may be produced. It just makes sure that you your makeup stays fresh even in really hot and humid weather now after you've set your whole makeup with all the powders including pressed powder setting powder and blush you want to drench your face in setting spray the reason for doing this is because it's gonna allow all the powders to melt together so that it looks like your skin as you can see right now my skin looks really dry you can kind of see it looks powdery naturally our skin is never powdery this is gonna allow you to set all your powdered products so that it locks in and doesn't transfer so this is the second layer that we're gonna set with setting spray I do also like to refer to this Milani make it last setting spray as a finishing mist because I feel like it acts as more of a holding product than it does like a hydrating product so I like to make sure that my skin is drenched in that setting spray you don't want to put too much to the point where it starts dripping because it's gonna move your makeup you just want to make sure it's enough that it stays put but at the same time it's filled with the setting spray. And this is what your makeup should be looking like so far, which to me, I'm satisfied with this. This can prevent transfer, but if you want that extra hold, that extra long wearing finish, then I would recommend adding a fixing spray on top of this. So fixing sprays, also known as finishing sprays, are normally used as the last step of your makeup routine. So a really good drugstore one is this Revolution Strong Hold Fixing Spray. Once you use this product, you don't wanna add any more makeup because it's not gonna blend and it's going to interfere with the makeup that you've already put on. So this is like the lock, like the lock that you use to lock your door, this is that for makeup. But if you find your makeup to be extremely oily or you find yourself in sweaty situations, then you have to watch this video. This video will show you exactly how to maintain sweat-proof, oily makeup, even in the hottest weather. KLJ, welcome to a channel where it's popping. 